It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to another edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Apex Entertainment in Marlboro, Massachusetts. This is the fourth and final week of February 2018, meaning it's the last game of the Candle Pins. It's not been a good run for reasons that have been covered numerous times, but we did get a 93 in the last, which was quite amazing. And can we keep that up? Let's find out once we mention that. Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor the hit Candlepin TV show, King of the Palace. Watch people that are actually good at this sport instead of this garbage. Just type in King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar and watch to your heart's content. If you like the show enough to subscribe, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell to get notified. And now back to what you tuned in for, unfortunately. Frame one ball one, last game, thank God. Due to the music playing in the background, most of the audio is unfortunately muted. Ball two. Also due to videos being played on the wall, most of the time you will be staring at pin cam. Yet another one of those fantastic starts, but if we can hit on the left, we should get something decent. Nine. Not a bad start. Frame two, ball one. Things started a little rough, but we got a halfway decent start out of it so far. Then that. Ball two. The gutter ball. Quite the famous shot in this place. Would help if there was some slide on the floor. Ball three. If it isn't gutter balls, it's usually some form of spread eagle. Seven. For those of you that like the pin setters, here's the Z4 in action. And while that's going on, we got a 9 and 1, and a weak 7 at 2, but so far not too bad. We are at 16. Frame 3 ball 1. If we can keep up that pace in spite of the 7, we could still turn out a decent game. It's just a matter of making it happen. I've lost count how many times we've gone for the Emily here. Really, I have. Ball three. Spread eagles and ugly splits. Welcome to Apex Entertainment. Only a six. Three, four, ball one. Looks like this might not be one of those good games, but maybe mediocrity or on the low end of average. Yep, just what we needed. Ball two. It looks like the wheels are falling off the wagon. Ball three. Hopefully avoiding another stink frame. And that kid's been an issue the whole time, except this time it was during a delivery. Most of the time it was after the fact. Only a five. Looks like we might end like we usually do, in a whimper. A lousy six and a lousy five. Only 11 points between the two. And we're at 27. Frank five ball one. Gonna need to mark in order to recover from this disaster, but the way things go here probably will not happen. Ball two. 
Got a little lucky with the extra pin action in the back. Ball three per usual, had to fix the score. Typical apex leave, an ugly split. Well, so much for improvement, or a mark. An eight, that's a recovery. Frame six, ball one. While eights, nines, and tens are pretty good, marks will definitely fix the problem. Here we go again. Ball two. As Dave Maddell on King of the Palace would say, it's pretty when it goes on the second ball. The second ball just simply went. Ball three. This would be a terrible stink frame if the third ball does the same thing the second ball just did. It happens to the pros, it happens to me. Remember ABC's Wide World of Sports, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat? We know where this one falls. Eight and five and the half Worcester in six, just 37. Three, seven, ball one. If there is a time to mark, now is the time, and we need a lot of them. Ball two. In spite of how bad ball one is, it's still a very makeable spare. So close, but so far away. Ball three. At least we can go for a clean plate. Just got to stay out of the gutter. That's all we got to do. Although in this place, that's kind of hard. No good. That's a nine. Three maple one. Nine's not too bad, but we need marks, especially after what's happened. Welcome to Apex. Ball two. Aren't baby eagles so cute? In this game, they are not. Ball three. In this horrible game, an 8, a 9, or a 10 just simply ain't gonna cut it. 9. Those two frames weren't too bad, but too little too late. A pair of nines in seven and eight. We're only at 55. Let's get it over with. Frame nine ball one, just trying to be mediocre at this point. It's a little bit of a tall order, but mediocrity is still possible. Ball two. Gee, another great split. There's a piece of wood that could help, though. But will it? Not what I was going for, but still. Ball three. Again, too little, too late. But a clean plate will still be a moral victory to some degree. How appropriate the bowling god's middle finger remains for the nine. Meanwhile, on the other side, this kid tries to bell mow the ball and it goes in my lane. According to the automatic scoring, it did not register. Thank goodness. I'm angry enough now that I had to edit out something that I just said. Ball two. According to the automatic scoring, four is the first ball, so we should be good. The Belmo ball didn't do anything. Well, that's five so far, and while I'm grabbing my third ball, it resets. After I got my print out, I found out the Belmo ball did actually count, but the scoreboard never showed it. Wonderful job, Apex. Since the system was already prompting to start the next game, there was no way to go back and re-bowl it. The automatic system is really messed up. When the first balls are foul, they don't even show. 
now that everything's over, it does show the Belmo ball. And it didn't even get the last pin. It's a 69 at least. We'll never know what the final score would truly be. And that's this episode. Time for 10 pin. Have a good one.